Edge, what's up? So, I'm going back and forth up and down uh, the mountains, back in California. And uh, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm not even going to a full drive, but my hub keeps on walking on its own. Like right now, it's an auto. And, but for some reason, I, mean, I don't even put it in a four-wheel drive. It just locks on its own and goes in and locks. So, I can always tell because my, this side will start clunking. That's how I know it's locked. You know, like when I'm turning or going around corners, I can hear it clunk, 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 you know? It, or it's more, more like a popping sound. So, yeah, I started doing that again. I'm like, shit, then I came back and home I started spinning my uh, drive shaft. And it was locked again, so. I don't know what the hell's going on, so I'm gonna take it apart and maybe to thoroughly clean this thing and see if I can get it unstuck or prevent it from sticking again, but I know I have issues with the shaft being loose in here, you know, that I have to address, you know, like this whole thing. The, this, this is actually the newer, ver the newer uh, sealed bearing version kind. So right now it's unlocked because I can spin it. But I don't know why it keeps on locking on its own. That's kind of crazy. Let me double check, make sure this side is unlocked over here too. Let's go. Okay, now this one's locked. What the hell? See that? It's like it goes back and forth. I guess I came out earlier and did that, but I mean, not somebody's out come out here and messing with me in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this thing. What is going on here? It just doesn't want to unlock. Alright. Shit. This is annoying. There we go. See, now it's locked. Sorry. God, it's a bitch, it doesn't want to unlock itself. Right. Well, I showed you another video on how to take them off. Just a couple torque screws, I'm gonna pop them off, and I'll come back. All right guys, so <clears throat> back here. So these are actually the more modern hubs. The three uh, hole design here with the, uh, they came out like 2005, uh, 2010, 2012. So it's a more modern design than the older uh, version. It's a, it's, because uh, my truck has the coil, coil front spring versus the old leaf spring. So they were different when they uh, converted over coil spring. So they say this is a non-serviceable serviceable part, but I'm gonna see if I can, uh, what I can, what I can do here. I know that there's a snap ring here. But what I really wanna do is just take this whole thing apart and uh, like, you know, soak in like some solvent and get all the grease off. See that, you know, take a look at the diaphragms and I know they actually work and they'll, they'll get engaged when I apply vacuum to them. That's not really a big issue. I know they work, but they just lock on their own. They don't disengage. So, all right. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe uh, snap those things out there. A little plastic. Be back real quick. All right. So maybe I'll try the snap ring first here. There should be a. I have a couple different snap rings here, but reverse that. So, goes like that. To open. All right. Okay, let's see if I can get that. You guys can see that. I'm trying not to get my hands on the way here. There we go. happens here. So there's like a plastic carrier. Alright, let's see if I can get this. This is gonna be difficult. There's like these little plastic tabs that hold it in place. Like it, there's like little plastic tabs in there. I'm thinking if I can get that to disengage snap this thing off. But I think I'm going to need a couple different screwdrivers to do this at the same time. At least to get it started.
yeah, so I don't know if you can see, there's like a, like a plastic carrier that I'm trying to be really careful not to break. So if I break that carrier, I mean, it's, you can't rebuy a replacement carrier. At least that I, I can see. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. Alright. Alright guys, back here. So I did actually get this off. Um, but let me show you a trick, at least it worked for me. So if you guys are trying to do this yourself. I got these little pins. Not little pins, but they're like little, little small nails. And what I did is, I just kind of like lifted this up. And then like, like, slid a pin underneath it to keep the tab and pull up like that and I just did that around there you know I went through here and I just so that what that does I mean if you're actually looking at this hub this will make more sense but it lifts the tab up off that little lip right there so by putting the pin in, or the nail in there it lifts that plastic tab up off so I was able to get this uh, top part separated you know the locking mechanism see Lock, unlock. I mean, I guess you don't really ever see that. I, I, I don't think they even have a diagram of this thing taken apart anywhere. So that's that. I'm assuming this is going to be the vacuum diaphragm right there. Alright, now i got to figure out. Let's see if I can get this diaphragm thing off here. Or if it's even possible. I mean, I could just be. Wasting my time. I just have to dip this in some like. It's almost like it wants to go. It's almost like a like a push button. Almost that's what it seems like. Click on. Click off. Right? That's like disengaged, right? It reminds me of like a, like a like a push button. Click on, click click off. Click on, click off. Click on, click off. Cool. Alright, see if I can don't know. I want to find a way to dip this stuff in some uh, solution. In the diaphragm, clean it up. It doesn't seem to be torn. I, I, I didn't have any problem with it before, so I should probably be too kind of careful not to jack it up too much. So I'm assuming the air pressure pulls this diaphragm forward and locks it in place. Interesting. Click on, click off. Off. All right. At least I know it kind of works now internally. I don't know if I'm going to get this metal thing off here. Because it looks like the metal here has kind of been... Um, I can take this rubber seal off here. Crimped on there. Like it's permanently crimped on the... Uh, Like it's been crimped out of the plastic, so I don't think I'm gonna get that off. All right, so I guess I'm not gonna be able to get that off. I, I mean, unless I really want to get crazy with it to pop, I can probably get like a nail in there if I wanted to. I could probably uh, pop it off, but. I know the diaphragm is fine, so I think I'm just going to dip this in some solvent and uh, maybe gasoline or something. That's you know maybe plastic safe, you know. 
Um, all right, guys, I'll be back. All right, so I have a little cup here. I'm gonna see if I can put some gas. I'm gonna try some gasoline. I, I just don't know if uh, this plastic is gonna dissolve in the, in the gas or not, you know? I don't know if that's ABS plastic or what that is. But, um, all right, I don't see what else I have. Maybe a paint thinner? I need to find some plastic safe. Alright guys, so to try some gasoline. So if this fails, you'll know not to use gas. Oh, it's pretty too full. Look at that kind of stuff coming right off there already. I can put a little too much gas in there. Gas is actually a really good solid. How dirty that gas got already. I guess I'm really just trying to keep an eye on that plastic to make sure that the plastic doesn't get soft and See if I can get this thing clean. All right, hope you guys can see this. That's where I'm giving it. There's a little couple of holes in the bottom of that. I just want to show you the. It's like a this light switch locking mechanism. Push in, lock. This one's kind of jacked a little bit, but you can hear it click. You can see the little tab come up there. See that? Click. Cool. All right, guys, man, I found the perfect size cup. <laughs> I can just spin it back and forth like that, you know? Definitely getting cleaner. And the plastic hasn't busted yet, so I don't, I don't think that, I think this is kind of a uh, pervious to gas petroleum. I, I would assume it'd probably be sort of uh, okay because of the greases. Sorry, my nose clogged. Yeah, my nose is like permanently clogged. I don't know what the deal is. All right, um... All right, so I'm gonna change this gasoline, get some clean gas in here, and swap them out. Try to get these things all clean. Some of the little things on there. So, ah, oh, come on, dude. There we go. There we go. Locked up. Gonna keep on cleaning these things. Cool. Yeah, they feel. I mean, these definitely do. This things move back and forth a lot smoother now when they go back. It's a lot cleaner and smoother now. Alright, All right, this is just my first cup. Look at a lot of crap residue. Alright, I'm cleaning out and put some more gas in there. Keep on going. Alright guys, these have been uh, going for a while here. Where I soaked them and they're kind of dry now. So I can automatically feel that they're definitely, uh, I mean I haven't lubed them up yet, but way uh, better there. So. Do that way more smooth. I haven't put the snap ring back in yet, but yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think these aren't designed to have heavy grease. These are supposed to be super light grease. Because if the, the grease is too heavy, this thing doesn't go back and forth. It's vacuum operated. So I mean, all the other videos I've seen online, and they say they can use heavy grease, and dude, this doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, because you don't want to bind this thing up with grease. So. All right, well, I will use the light grease, light oil. And if my hubs fail, it's on me. So, well, I mean, right now they can't fail any worse than they already failed. So, I mean, they just lock up on their own. All right, put this thing back together, get the stamp rings on. And that'll be the next step. Cool. All right, guys. Awesome. Okay, so let's see if I can just this should just pop back on there. There we go, just like that. Okay, let's try that one. <sighs> oh, got 
some gas in my eye. Okay. So there'll be some dirt in there or something. Debris of some sort. Alright guys. Let's see. I haven't even lit these things up yet, so let's see. Uh, let's manual lock. There we go. Look at that. Unlock. It's definitely a lot more reliable than it was before. Boom, boom. Okay, let's try this one and see if this one goes. I'm going to blow this up my air compressor just to get any remaining gas, if there's any gas in there. Cool. Way smoother. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm going to use a little of this, uh, I'm going to have a couple different kinds of uh, really light lubes. I don't want to use any grease in these things. Um, actually, a lot of the hubs have actually, uh, the mile markers I've had, I think have a super, super light film of grease. And, uh, you know, I want to keep this thing lubed, so I don't want to... In. Oops, we got a mess here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's make sure this thing's super. surface is covered. Nice and lubed up in there. Let's see. Okay, see that one's you know, it's That one doesn't sound nearly as good. Alright, keep on playing with it. Get it mounted on there. Awesome. Alright guys, back in business here. So, I guess we'll see. I'll be driving this thing for the next couple days and Every time I get back, I'm gonna. I will um, just to test it. You know, I'll when I get back, I'll just make sure the drive shaft's unlocked. You know, if it's not, then I'll just have to get new hubs. But I mean, they seem like they're functioning fine. I, I don't know what the hell the, what's going on. It's I don't have a problem locking them in. They just lock on their own for some reason. I have no clue. So 